Thanks for staying with us. Uh, President Tinubu has departed Nigeria for the United Kingdom on his two-week annual leave. His spokesperson, Bayo Nonugad, is close that he will be taking a working vacation to reflect on his administration's economic reforms. This, was, uh, this news uh, information uh, was, uh, gener has generated mixed reactions from Nigerians. When the news broke out, Nigerians took to social media to air their opinion on the president's leave and impending trip out of the country. Many people found it weird that the president would leave the country when Nigerians are facing one of the worst economic hardships ever. Some citizens made jokes about the situation, while others thought he should have stayed in Nigeria for the leave. Okay, so to discuss this with us is Comrade Mark Adebayo, the national spokesperson for the Coalition of United Political Parties, CUPP. Good morning and welcome to the program. Uh, good morning, viewers. Thank you for having me. Yangu. Yes. Okay, there's been a temporary jackpot by the president for two weeks, and according to uh, Ononuga, he's going there to be able to put, his, put on his thinking cap to reflect on the economic policies or reforms back home in Nigeria. I want to get your take on this. Uh, he says he's going to reflect on his uh, administration. So he could not stay back home and reflect on, the, on, the, uh, on his administration. And the kind of hardship and the pains and the hunger and the anger he has inflicted on Nigerians for a year plus now. No, he should be in the in the thick of it. He should be in the midst of it. He should be here, you know, to see. You know, you reflect better when you see, when you have physical contact with the results of, of your, with the consequences of your economic uh, and governance policies over one year plus now. Now, uh, for him to want to now go to London, uh, to the UK to to be able to reflect, you know, far away from the problem. Uh, I mean, it's one of the, it's quite a laughable excuse for the president to leave the country. I mean, uh, he said he's going to proceed on a two-week leave to go and reflect on his administration and see what, he, so there's no way we are in this country that you can sit and reflect. Uh, and then, you know, if you look at the cost of that uh, reflection to the country, to the taxpayers' uh, money, we run into billions of naira because, you see, that aircraft, they're going to park at the airport over there in the uh, in UK, in London, is going to attract uh, a, a demurrage or, or the parking fee running to millions per, 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 per hour. Millions per hour. So by the time you go and come back after this reflection, only God knows whether 5 billion, 10 billion has gone down the drain. Just because the president wanted to go somewhere to, to put on his thinking cap, as you have said, to reflect on the consequences and the result of his administration. I mean, I see someone running away from his responsibility as a leader of the country. I see someone who is less concerned about the sufferings in the land. I see someone, I see a president who is, uh, who is trying to be an outlier from the immediate crisis he has created for the country. I don't see, because when you say you want to go on two-week leave to go and reflect, it, it shows, I just, I just see that as a, a, a means of the president going to attend to his own personal uh, business, not to attend to his health or whatever i, I don't know but uh, i don't see how that will help the country i don't see how that will help the country's economy i don't see how that will help the country's security i don't see how the, that will help the country's uh, development in any way in any manner so it's uh it's, 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 it's quite unfortunate the president in the last one year or so i traveled uh, about 40 times out of the country of what benefit are, are those travelings or are those travels being to, to the country? That is the question the, the presidency should answer. You know, that's it. It's not, uh, it should be here. It should be here to sit down and find solutions to the crisis in the land, the crisis in the economy, crisis in the security sector, crisis of unemployment, crisis of hunger, crisis of, you know, all manner of crises that are a direct result of his, uh, of his, of his policies, of his economy policies. So it's not to go to London to begin to look, to reflect, to find the answers. That but, is, but uh, he's, he's entitled to leave, right? He's I mean, he's entitled that, that is a very poor excuse to, to leave the country for two weeks. Hmm. That's my take on that. Yeah, he's entitled to leave, uh, to maybe go and rest and all that. My only, my only quarrel or my only confusion is why they have to say he's going to rest to reflect as if maybe... Uh, there are better pillows in the UK 
like uh, people say, when you sleep, the pillow will talk to you. So maybe there are better pillows that will make him reason better and um, to talk, uh, to find solutions to Nigeria's problems and all that. But while he's there, maybe he will still be listening to Nigerians uh, on social media or somewhere else and make sure that he feels their pains and all. So when he's reflecting, if he were to reflect as they are saying he was going to reflect, what are the things that you think he should have been thinking about or should be thinking about while there so that when he comes, he can make the adequate changes? Uh, well, you know, um, uh, because I do not believe you have to go to UK to reflect on, the, on anything, uh, I, I do not have any particular uh, set of program or advice for the president on what to follow or what to think about or what not to think about. I'm, all, of course, opposed to him. But they told us he was going for a working, working leave. Working leave. You want to work on Nigeria from UK? You work at your look. You are you are in your studio. You are working in your studio there. Mm. You know. So if the president wants to work, working leave. Let him do the working leave here. This is where we elected. He told us that he applied for the job. Nobody should pity him to do the job. He need not go to UK to do the to, 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 to do the work. The work for him is here. The work for him is here in Nigeria. The work for him is here in Abuja. Let him be in Ashurok and do the work and do the reflecting or whatever he wants to do. Not that to go to UK. If those people have not provided the conducive atmosphere for people to come and reflect. Will he be able to go there? Let him, well, since when? As any leader, either from Europe or America, or even from Africa, has come to Nigeria to come and reflect. Since when? Since our flag independence 64 years ago till now, has any world leader come to Nigeria to come and reflect on his administration? The answer is capital no. So why would we go to, to Europe or go anywhere to go and reflect from on what you are doing in the country? You have to stay here. You have to remain here. See the problem. Fix the problem. A president is elected to fix the country's problem. A, a, a president is, is elected to find solutions to the country's challenges. It is not for him to travel for two weeks, spend billions of naira, and then come and, and then coming back to say that uh, he has reflected. I, I can bet you nothing is going to change fundamentally from that uh, working leave is going on. It's not as if he come back. Maybe, we don't know, he might come back and do his, his kind of tinkering of his cabinet, move one minister to that place, or then remove one, replace one. If, if that might happen, you don't need to go to UK for two weeks to, to do that. So, okay. because, but in terms of development, in terms of governance, in terms of progress of the country, in terms of finding solution to the challenges of the country, I bet you, I bet you it's going to be zero. We are not going to see any marked difference in what we have been passing through uh, in the last one year plus. So, okay. uh, his trip to the UK is uh, probably his medical tourism or personal to attend to personal business. Is not. I don't see it benefiting Nigeria in any way. I don't see it. I, I keep wondering like all the time why they have to lie if the president needs to have medical attention because I think it's a normal thing. I don't know why they have to lie if he needs to rest because it's a normal thing. Why not just say he has gone to rest or he has gone to attend to his uh, medical uh, issues and all that. But let me digress as we are ending. Our time is up, but let, let me just pick your brain a little bit. What do you think about the youth confab that he proposed in his Independence Day uh, speech? No, it's just one huge distraction. It's just one huge distraction to the youth. You know, the youth are, I know, are angry with the situation of the country. They are campaigning online. They are, you know, they, they were, you know, that, that that day they were planning to go on. They, they went on the streets to, to protest and the rest of that. So it needed to say something to distract their attention. All these people that they are, they are going to bring to Abuja for the so-called National Youth Conference. You know, when the president should be planning for a security, a national security conference, to find a solution to the, to their failure in the security sector, to, to instead of him to look or call for uh, experts in the areas of the economy, of security, and the other infrastructure development thing that the, the country should be doing, is is calling for youth national youth national conference because uh, uh, because you know they, they, they form the fifty sixty percent. All they want to do is to placate the youth, to hold the youth down, to distract them from confronting the realities in the land. And all the people that are going to take to Abuja to do the youth conference, you see that the majority of them, if not all of them, will be APC members. You know, it's, they are going to bring... All they want to do is do the distraction. There is nothing you want to hear from the youth that you are not hearing on a daily basis 
on, on social media. They are complaining about uh, their education. They are complaining about the poor state of the campuses. They are complaining about the poor state of the roads. They are complaining about the poor state of the security. They are complaining about the poor state of the economy. They are complaining about the poor state of the, of the medicals. They are complaining about everything. They are complaining about corruption. They are complaining about poor leadership, bad leadership, and retrogressive leadership. They are complaining every day. They are, they, they are, and they are offering solutions to all these issues. You All you need to do is to look at use groups across the country and see what they have been saying and complaining about and then you find solutions to those ones you don't need to gather them in abuja spending another 100 billion 200 billion on the so-called national youth conference to what to what extent and let me assure you that even if they come out with the most wonderful recommendations after the youth conference is going to be thrown into, into the dustbin this government is not going to look into it they are not going to look into it they are not going to do anything about it it's not about youth conference now it's about the youths the youth are organizing in different fora under different platforms and they have been talking you know you can ask them to submit papers they will submit but all these things they are, uh, this youth conference is just a mere distraction it's a mere distraction they or they want to buy the silence of the youth they want to silence them so because okay. when they come they, you know all the per diem they will collect the honoraria they will collect and everything put them in very good grand hotels and rest of them and deceive them we are doing well whatever you say we will follow all this is a ground preparation for 2027 re-election bid of the president that's what i see it that is, right. that is the scheme so, to, to, in, in order to buy the conscience of, of, of the youth to say that no we are doing well they will lie to them and by the time you see even when they if they come if they manage to come out with independent opinions in the, after this national youth conference, the, yeah, I can bet you this government will not look into it. They will just right. continue to govern, to rule, to rule the country the way they have been misruling the country. That's okay, what you will see. They are, they, they are not going to. It's not as if they they, they, they suddenly are falling in love with Nigerian youth. No, they just gather them in Abuja. Uh, okay, they want to buy them over. Okay, so they, they, I, I bet you these people will be turned to the foot soldiers of the election bid of the president. That's what's going to happen. All right. Um, well, uh, we will wait for the two weeks. When he, he comes back, we'll see how refreshed his ideas will be and his brain will be for Nigeria to move forward. And then maybe we'll come back and re-X-ray uh, that his travel and how it has affected Nigeria positively. But uh, at this point, we have to wrap up. And we'd like to thank you, Comrade Mark Adebayo, for coming on the show. Thanks so much for uh, Plus TV Africa for having me. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. We'll be talking with Comrade Mark Adebayo, National Spokesperson, Coalition of United Political Parties. And that wraps up the show this morning. We'd like to say thank you to you for being there for us. My name is Nyam Gul Agaji. Bye for now.